And you know, that's exactly what Arnold Schwarzenegger did when he was a young teenager in Austria. He said he covered his bedroom wall with bodybuilders and wrestlers and strong men. He said, you get an image of what you wanna be and then you live into that image. Hey, I'm Terry Savelle Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. Hey, I wanna share with you something absolutely free, how to do a vision board checklist so that you can make your own vision board this year. But I'll share that at the end because first I wanna teach you this. You know, they say to create a vision that makes you wanna jump out of bed in the morning. But then others say your future depends on your dreams. So go back to sleep. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wanna share with you proof that vision boards work. You know, I have figured out how to stay motivated to go after your dreams in a fun, compelling way. So that's why I want to teach you today proof that vision boards work. You know, Steve Harvey said, you have got to create dream boards. He said, you've got to put a picture of the new car, the weight you want to be. He said, if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. I love that. Well, in an interview with Oprah, Steve Harvey explained why he's committed to having vision boards. And of course, in Steve Harvey's words, this is what he said. He said, man, if I didn't have no vision board, I'd be in trouble. He said, you gotta keep it in front of you. It's on my laptop. It's on my screen, on my phone. It's on my iPad. It's on my desktop. Well, Oprah was completely fascinated by Steve Harvey's interest in having a vision board and keeping it in front of him. And she said how 10 years ago, on the Oprah show, she was talking about vision boards and all these people were skeptical, saying it doesn't work. Well, she pointed to Steve Harvey emphatically and said, you are living proof, it absolutely does work. She said, you have to have a vision and a plan to execute so that every step moves you in the direction of your vision. Well, Steve Harvey, you know, he's continued to explain how big and crazy his dreams are and how others would laugh at re how ridiculously big the vision is. In fact, some of his dreams are sending 10,000 children to college paid for by him and his wife personally. 10,000. Exploring Africa to help build the infrastructure of the roads. Um, he has a type of airplane he wants to own. He said he even takes it a step further by putting some of his most important dreams on the inside of his cuffs, of his pants, you know, and he said he literally has the tailor hem them on the inside of his pants. Well, do what you need to do to keep your vision in front of you continually. I mean, that's taking it a whole nother level, isn't it? But do you know that the more vivid you paint a picture of where you wanna go, the more decisive you will become? You know, if you sometimes wonder whether it's really that important to mess around with adding pictures to your vision board, I'm telling you from experience, it's worth the effort. Your mind thinks in pictures, it doesn't think in words. You know, have you ever seen a young boy who's really into football or basketball and his whole bedroom is just covered with sports memorabilia? He is surrounding himself with what he wants. That's vision. And you know, that's exactly what Arnold Schwarzenegger did when he was a young teenager in Austria. He said he covered his bedroom wall with bodybuilders and wrestlers and strong men. He said, you get an image of what you want to be and then you live into that image. Well, I've heard stories of, you know, people like actress Emma Stone, another redhead. She said how she went against all odds to pursue her dream of acting by creating a vision for her parents to see. Well, she had to get crystal clear and convince them that moving to Hollywood was the best thing for their family. I think they lived in Phoenix or something. How did she do that? By showing them her dream in clear, compelling details. You know, she said she created a PowerPoint presentation about why she should pursue a career in acting, and she called it Project Hollywood. She even added background music to her proposal by playing Madonna's hit single, Hollywood. Well. Emma Stone's mother packed her bags and followed her to Los Angeles. Emma Stone was only 15 years old at the time, and of course today she's an Academy Award winning actress, you name it. But see, that's the power of seeing your vision and keeping it before your eyes. Well, you may have heard me tell the story of singer Drake and how he told Rolling Stone Magazine how he obtained his dream home. He said, he showed them a photo and he said this picture, this is just a pretend one, was the desktop image on his computer for years. Drake said one day he just wondered, what are the world's craziest swimming pools? And when he researched online, this house came up. 
Well, the research was done in 2007. Think about this. At the time he's Googling outrageous swimming pools just to enlarge his ability to dream, he was unsigned to anyone. He wasn't loaded with money. He wasn't ready to purchase a mansion in Beverly Hills. However, he didn't let that stop him from getting a vision and keeping it before his eyes. Well, in 2009, the house hit the market with an asking price of $27 million. A few years later, the seller of this ideal home with the crazy swimming pool was at a low moment, Drake said. He said he needed some money. In 2012, Drake obtained that very property that you know was valued at $27 million for $7.7 million. Drake said, I stole it from him. <laughs> now let that sink in. Only five years after he researched his dream property with no means to obtain it, he was living in it. He kept the vision before him on his computer screen, you know, always in front of him, and he eventually walked right into it. So what I'm saying is find a photo of your dream house, your ideal body, your perfect vacation. Superimpose your photo on the cover of a book, a magazine, or a newspaper. Get pictures of the bedroom furniture you desire or the wedding ring. You know, I had my wedding ring, this one, on a vision board because after 25 years of marriage, I was like, I want a bigger one. <laughs> this very ring was on my vision board. Put a picture of the car you desire to drive. Find photos to match each of your dreams and have fun with this. You know, instead of always framing the past, you know, your graduation pictures, the family vacation from 20 years ago, the wedding pictures from 1991, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. But why not frame your future too? Showcase where you believe God has taken your life. And you know what? It's exciting. It's compelling. And it drives you to not settle where you are, but rather long for where you want to be. Get your family involved in this. You know, we have families enrolled in the vision board course. Fix your eyes on a vision board. You know, the law of attraction basically states that whatever you focus on, you will attract it in your life. Well, Proverbs 23, 7 says the same thing. Whatever a man thinks in his heart, so shall he become. So what you think about, you bring about. Well, when you look at pictures of where you're headed, it gets planted into your subconscious mind and your subconscious doesn't know anything different than make it happen. <laughs> you know, is it a coincidence that once I started writing my dreams and goals and then adding pictures to illustrate them, reviewing them daily, that they started happening? Not one bit. And I'm talking about very specific dreams like I remember I wrote, be the keynote speaker at the Amway conference. That's pretty specific. Minister at the largest church in France. See my books in the Seti C bookstore in Paris. Motivate the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Have offices in Rockwell, Texas. Meet Oprah Winfrey. Go to the White House. Get invited to the White House. Everything on my vision board years ago is a reality today. So what am I going to do? I'm going to keep designing new ones, right? Well, when you design a vision board, you are literally surrounding yourself with what can be, not just what is. You're framing your future. Now, here's another reason why it's so important that you see your vision rather than keep it in a desk drawer only to be viewed on New Year's Day. The reason why is because we move towards what we consistently see. You know, they say keep your goals out of reach but never out of sight. So keep your vision board in front of you at all times. And when you look at your most important goals and your big vision, your motivation goes to a whole new level. So I want you to write your top 10 goals for this year and then find pictures to match each goal and put them on your vision board. So I'm telling you, you're gonna have fun with this and I can't wait for you to send me your story of what you've achieved this year. And don't forget, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. In fact, I want to share our YouTube subscriber of the week, Sophie Humphreys. Sophie says this, Hey, Miss Terry, my name is Sophie, and I'm about to be 16. I just wanted to say that I made a vision board about four or five months ago, and I put a picture of the type of car I wanted on it. I told the Lord that I wanted it to be between 2016 and 2018, and every time I look at the board, I would thank the Lord that I already had the car. I love that. And today I was blessed with a 2017 car of my dreams. Thank you for all you do and for encouragement. Praise Jesus. Sophie, I am so happy for you and I'm so grateful that you sent your story in. God is no respecter of persons. Isn't he amazing when we get crystal clear on our dreams and goals? So Sophie, congratulations. We are just so happy for you. 
I discovered a way for you to stay motivated to go after your dreams in a fun, compelling way. Like I've said, with vision boards, and I have proof that they work. You know, more than anything, I want you to get a compelling vision and stay motivated throughout the year to go after it. So click the link in the description or go to terry.com slash checklist to get my vision board checklist that will help you create your own vision board easily. And for more consistent motivation, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Find my handles below or click the red subscribe button for weekly videos to make this your best year yet. The next conference is a premier success training conference based on God's word to help leaders grow. Join us January 25th and 26th on the lake in Rockwall, Texas for two days of insight that will take your business, personal life, and ministry to the next level. You'll hear from my special guest, Chris Brown, who has 20 years of leadership experience and worked alongside Dave Ramsey at Dave Ramsey Solutions as a nationally syndicated radio host. I'll also be interviewing Gigi Butler of Gigi's Cupcakes, the largest cupcake franchise in the world. If you're ready to go to the next level, this is a weekend vital to your growth. Seats are limited and will sell out, so head over to terry.com slash next to register today so you can connect with influencers, elevate your thinking, and go to the next level in 2019.